Hey guys, uh, this lesson is the second uh, part of module 5.3 of our Integrated Math 3 textbook, Graphing uh, Cubic Functions. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. Okay, so the same essential question. How, how is uh, f of x equals a times x minus h cubed plus k? And f of x equals uh, 1 over b inside of the parentheses times x minus h cubed plus k related to this graph. Okay. This is a, a vertical stretch or compression, and this is a horizontal stretch or compression, and it's always the reciprocal of that number we discovered in our one of our classes right there, okay? And then if it's negative, then it gets reflected across the y-axis. If it get, this is negative, it's reflected across the x-axis. All right, so here we go. So a general equation for a cubic function is uh, g of x is given, along with the function's graph, right? A specific equation by identifying the values uh, using the reference points shown. Okay, all right, so here we go. So they give us this graph right here, and they give us an equation that has a hint right here. It has a vertical stretch, it looks like, right here, okay? So hk is this guy, 2, uh, comma 1 right there, okay? So 2, comma 1. So we plug that in. Now we just got to figure out a. Well, there's two ways to do it. Um, the easier way is this, you guys. Um, the, the general equation went over 1, up 1. This one goes over 1, up 3. 3 is a. Okay, so that's our answer. g of x equals 3 times x minus 2 cubed plus 1. Now, if you don't, um, uh, if that doesn't convince you, just substitute a point in. Like, like I'll do that with one of these. You can substitute at this point or this point and solve. I just like to see how much we went over and how much it went up. Okay, because it's going to have a vertical stretch because of the A. But I substituted in that for X and that in for G of X right there because that's Y. G of X equals Y. All right, so 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 cubed is 1. So we get uh, that equation, subtract 1, and we get A equals uh, 3 right there. Okay, so there's our equation right there. But I knew that because it went over 1, up 3. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, this one has a horizontal uh, stretch or compression. Looks like it's being skinned. It's being compressed in because it's skinnier right there, okay? HK is this guy right there, that negative 4, 1. So it becomes plus 4 inside and plus 1 on the outside right there. All right, and then <clears throat> B is, uh, remember, our general graph is it goes over 1, up 1, okay? If it went over 2, it would go up 8, well, this graph is going over a half up 1. So B is a half. So it's the reciprocal. This number is always the reciprocal of how much we went over. How come? Well, that's in module 5.1, I think. Okay, But for now, it's just the reciprocal right there. So the reciprocal of a half is 2. So that number is 2. Okay, Or... Uh, here's our graph right there. That's what it's supposed to look like. This one goes over one, up one right there. This one goes over a half, up one. So that means our horizontal movement is a half. So one over B is one over a half, which is that two right there. Okay, so there's our answer right there. Okay, uh, I just think it's easier just to reciprocate. This number is always the reciprocal that goes in front of how much we went over. We went over a half, so the reciprocal is two. So that number is two. Okay, all right, so here's a, an application problem. This is example 3a on page 284. Starts off with these instructions. Use a cubic function to model the situation and graph the function using graphing values of the function. Then use a graph to obtain um, uh, the indicated estimate. Okay, so here it is. So um, estimate the length of the edge of a cube's alphabet blocks, okay, that's a cube right there, that has a mass of 23 grams and is made from an oak with a density of 0.72 grams per cubic centimeters. Okay, well, remember our density function, you guys? Density was mass divided by volume. We're going to insert that into this, okay? So we're looking for the length of the cube. So we'll let L represent the length of the block in centimeters. And since the block is a cube, then the volume in, uh, remember, density is mass divided by volume. So we've got to get volume in here. So the volume is, um, and this should say V of L. This should be an L inside of there. I goofed and I forgot to fix that. So this should be an an. L right there. So the V of L, uh, I'll have it fixed for the rest of them right here, is um, uh, L cubed right there. Remember, mass is density. Uh, I'm sorry, density is, uh, let me get this out of here, uh, mass divided by volume. 
So if we multiply both sides by volume right here, it gets rid of the volume right here, and we get uh, the mass equals volume times density. That's what this says right here. Okay. Now, uh, or or the, uh, it, the the mass with respect to the length right here is equal to the density times volume. Okay. Let me keep changing this so I don't have to worry about it when my next class comes in. I'm doing this on my prep period. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph this function right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a table of values right there. Okay, so here's the question down here. We're estimating the length of the edge. So here's my f of x equals something x cubed. Okay, so this is going to graph a cubic equation. Okay, so before we graph it, we got to make a table of values right here. Okay, so we're going to plug all of these numbers in for the length right here and cube it and then multiply it times 0.72. That's going to give us the mass with respect to the length. Okay, that's going to give us the mass right here. And then we'll graph them. This will be our x-axis. This will be our y-axis. It's always in alphabetical order, x comma y. All right, so zero cubed, that's easy. Zero cubed is zero. Zero times anything is zero. And then one cubed is one. One times 0.72 is 0.72. Okay, we'll graph those guys. Okay, two cubed is eight. Let me see if I can get a calculator here. So uh, if we do 8 times, we've got to cube it first, you guys. So we plug in we plug in uh, 2 right here. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So 8 times 0. 0.72, okay? So here we go. Let me clear that out. So 8 times 0. 0.72, and I get um, 5.76. So that's what the mass would be right there, 5.76. Okay, let's plug in 3. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So we do 27 times 0.72. Okay, when we do that, we get 19.44. Uh, okay, remember, we're going to graph these, and they give you a graph. They kind of set you up with the appropriate graph and the, and the axes numbers and everything. All right, 4 cubed. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 times 0.72, okay, that's going to get me 46.08, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and graph these. And notice um, this is going to be a vertical compression because that 0 0.72 is less than 1. So remember, our, our typical cubic graph goes up like this and goes like this, but we're talking about length and mass, so we can disregard the negative stuff over here. We're going to start it at 0, okay? So let's graph 0, 0, okay? There it is right there. Let's graph 1.72. So over 1, up just a little itty bit right there, 0.72 right there. All right, 2, 5.76. So there's 2, comma, here's 5, so a little bit above 5 right there, so something like right there. 3, 19.44. There's 3. There's uh, 20 right there, so a little bit below right there. And then uh, that last one goes way up there. Okay, so there's that cubic function. Now remember, the other side would be over here going down like this. Okay, it's a vertical compression right there. All right, so now, now that we've graphed it, now we're going to answer this question down here. I think I highlighted it. Yeah, we're going to estimate the length of an edge of a cube's alphabet block that has a mass of 23 grams. Okay, so here's the masses over here. Here's the lengths of the cube. So now we have the cubic equation that we created. We're going to go up here to 23 and go straight over. So we'll go straight over right there and then go straight down. I'm guessing there's 3, there's 3.5, probably about 3.2. So I'm going to estimate that the length of the cube is about 3.2 centimeters. Okay, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Uh, this application, you guys, is exactly the same as the one we just did. All right, you guys, take care.